Ooh, it's early. It's too early for this crap. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. It is Sunday, February 9th, and it is 7.05 a.m. Um, it's still a little darkish out. It's not, like, pitch black. Sun's coming up. All right. Now, I know Bill's wife, Nikki, watches our videos, and Nikki, you got to tell Bill, I need my man items. Like, this, this whole lady buying glass and pottery every week is killing me. Bangladesh isn't going anywhere. He can go back to Bangladesh another time. He needs to come back to the market, and he needs to get back to work so I can spend my money. Okay? Okay. All right. So, Nikki... Let Bill know we need him back here at the market ASAP. Thank you. Anyway, um, I'm going to go check out Dave's booth because I'm pretty sure Eric's not here yet. It'll probably be a good 20, 25 minutes before we see him show up at about 7.30. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go scoot down to his booth. But let's go check out Dave and see what he's got. Well, holy smokes, I got one hell of a surprise. I was over talking to Eric, and he goes, Bill's opening up. And I looked over and here's Bill's van and Bill's crowd and he was late getting here but we're happy to see him so let's go take a peek looks like they got a lot of tools out so far that's generally not my wheelhouse Ooh, we can have some fun with these though mm. Halloween's too far away Interesting. Oh, do I take a chance on those? Ooh, arrowhead. That one's real. That's not a souvenir shop piece. I just don't think it is. Oh, we'll put that back. <laughs> lots of tools, lots and lots of tools. Fresh off the truck. Kind of died down a little bit back here. All right. Well. All right. So I got some stuff here at Eric's. We've got some doggies. We've got a piggy. We've got a really old coffee pot. It's clear, but it's signed and it's marked France. A piece of uh, old Goebel. Gotta figure out what that's from. Um, we got some Wilson tennis ball glasses. We got some 1700s pewter. Uh, we got some 1940s Hawaii yearbooks. And I grabbed some framed sheet music just because two of them are Civil War themed. And I love it. So I'm gonna grab those. a giant head. Does it work? Does it work? What is this? Giant head. This is the biggest conquistador I've ever seen. And he's in an antique ivory soapbox. I wonder if he was shipped here that way. I'm crazy. They all work. Let's see. Do, 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 do. That's funky. That's almost funky enough of a glaze to be cool. I kind of like that. Mm. Somebody had eggs for breakfast. Let's see. Oh, 
there's that can and it's in pieces. Let's see if we can get all the pieces. That's in pretty rough shape. Yeah. There's the barrel. Boy, that's a shame. I wonder if I can salvage that. That's a Civil War cannon. I'm just surprised there was no reaction until after you saw it. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. See if I can maybe hodgepodge it back together for a display or something. I don't know. You know what? I went surprised right, from let's her. Let's go take a peek. Civil War Atlas. All right. This is crazy. I didn't see that before. Whoa. Yes, please. Huh. All right. See what else we can go pick out of these fancy boxes of stuff. Hey! Oh, you. Oh, what are these? Let's see what these ones are. World War II, World War I, Napoleon as general. Interesting, they're all maps. I will be back with you guys in just a minute. Boxes are getting picked clean. It's getting empty. What world is that? Huh. What does that say? Handblown Glass. Choose Company, Inc. Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, maybe the kid will like that for his art glass collection. Oh, look at that. That's nice and greasy. Mmm. Free breakfast. Got in here, got a little telegraph receiver in there. Huh, that's interesting. Tanner's got a big doink. Crate and barrel. Oh, somebody broke the thing already. That wasn't broken this morning. This is my box. Got something? Oh, I got a box of something. Hey, look, it's a big glass of I'll pull bull spit. <laughs> we got a better angle. There we go. Oh, my favorite thing of the day. I love it. Big glass of bull spit. Good morning, sunshine. How are you? How are you? It's a shame this doesn't have a lid. I should grab it anyway. Anything wrong with it? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm gonna grab it anyway. Let's see. It's kind of pretty. What do y'all think? Yeah, why not? It's different. Maybe I'll get yelled at. Maybe I won't. Wait a minute. What is this? I need to look at this. That's interesting. I don't know why that's interesting, but it's interesting. And it's going to go in there. And it has a painted toenails. Toys. Yeah. I'll go in here, and that is one of my boxes. Do, do, do. All right, it is cold. So what do we got out here? We got some NASA pictures and some Leverites. This is this is um, Homer Laughlin. This is the lever right pattern because you leave it right where you found it. What we got in here? 
Pictures, NASA stuff, nothing. Here, these little glasses. These are cute. Ooh. Sasaki handcrafted Japan, but they got that little twist stem on them. They don't look very old. New old stock though with the smoky glass. I kind of like that. Those are really pretty. Yeah, we'll grab those. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's a whole entire set. Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't want to ship that. That whole box is an entire set. No, thank you. All right, well, I think I'm going to take a break. I'm not grabbing any of these, though. These are just eh. Actually, these little footed bowls aren't bad. Those are different. I like these little footed bowls. Okay, I'll grab these. There's a bunch of these. These would be great for centerpieces for a table for like a wedding or something or a reception. Heck yeah. All right, let me put my camera down. I will be back with you in a little bit. Maybe I'll grab these too. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. These are kind of eh. <sighs> torn. I'm so torn. Do I get it? Do I not? Do I get it? Do I not? What do I do? I know you're all screaming at me right now. You're screaming something, but I don't know what you're screaming. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it and see what happens. Cross my fingers. See you in a bit. I'll show you guys this, but unfortunately I'm leaving it because it is missing a handle. But that's just got some amazing color hunting theme, the boar, deer, what else we got on there, a boar and a deer, but yeah, it's pretty cool, it's an older piece, so it's a shame it's busted, if it wasn't busted I'd grab it, even if the handle was there and it was just glued on, I would grab it, but since it's missing, and to repair that would be a real pain. It's pretty and it's signed too. I don't see any doinks on it. It's not marked, but we're gonna grab it. This one's picked through. This was the box I got the Hawaii yearbooks out of. 1940s. They could be good. And yearbooks, you have to take a minute and see if there's anybody famous. Quick Google search will tell you. Brad Pitt's yearbook sells for something like $3,000. So, something you gotta keep your eyes open for. I don't see anything crazy cool in here. Alright, well, I think that's gonna do it for the moment. I gotta run back down to Dave's. Um, I do have a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna take a look through what's left, film a little bit with you guys down there, and show you what we got. That's pretty. I'm not gonna do it. Um, and I will uh, get back to you in a little bit. All right, I missed out on the teacup and saucer because I didn't grab it quick enough, but that's all right. We gotta go over here to Dave's. Let's take a peek see if there's anything left before we go through the stuff that I've already got picked out. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's he? Oh, he's kind of cool. I kind of like him. Homeco large figurines. What's this little dealie? 
needle threader. Interesting. Do, do, do. Let's see. I looked at this earlier. This is kind of like a little studio piece. They did a really nice job on it. It's different from what we usually pick up for the studio pieces. So I think I'll grab that just for laughs and giggles because I think it's really nice. And the Syracuse. Well, that's really pretty, but unfortunately, it's missing the pedestal part. Uh-huh, I told you. kind of modern. Hmm. Oops, sorry. Let's see what we got coming on in these last couple of boxes. Mm -hmm. That's vintage. We'll grab that. Oh look, I think it has a lid. Or two. Oh, and there's little spoons to go with it. Excellent. We're just going to grab that whole entire box. With the piece and the spoons. This please. Carnival glass in here. Candle holders. This is a cool piece. All right. Let's see. Nothing broke. All right, we're good there. Look at these. Those are cool. General Electric. Hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna pass on those anyway. This is cute. Let's go take a peek, and I will be back with you in just a moment, and we'll take a peek at what I already got. All right, so I squared up with Dave. I spent a grand total of sixty dollars for what I've got here behind me. Um, Let's take a peek at it real quick. And then we're gonna go over to Eric's and I have to square up there. And maybe I can show you a few more things that I grabbed that you guys didn't see on camera. Um, and maybe some things that were hidden in the van. So let's take a look at this stuff real quick. Uh, Indiana glass, but it's new old stock. It's green. St. Patty's Day is coming. Um, it's a nice footed center bowl. And then I also grabbed the three piece salad set, which this the spoon and the fork are in there, but Green, St. Patty's Day's coming. This stuff was cheap enough. It'll go up cheap enough. Um, we grabbed this little Toby looking mug. I like him. Back of my car's covered in ice. You guys saw this piece, the studio pottery. We got the honey jar. I've got two bags full of salt and pepper shakers. I got that little console set thing that, that you saw. Um, I grabbed a couple old uh, real movies. These are really cool. 
Air Force One plastic cups. One's not in the greatest of shape, but the other one's in really nice shape. These have to be like 1970s, um, maybe 80s at the latest, but geez, these things are cool. They're not marked. I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out a time frame when they use these, um, but definitely very cool. Air Force One. Um, and oh, I, I did get a printer's tray, a small one. Usually they're big, but I like these small ones. And this one's already wired to be hung, which is great. Um, they're great for displaying little knickknacks and tchotchkes. But this guy right here is one of my favorite things I got. And he's actually Nifus, because he's going in my Gettysburg case. But uh, you just don't see these. I, I, I couldn't find another Gettysburg one listed online. So I have nowhere, nowhere, nothing to compare it to other than the other ones that are online. Um, but this is People's Drugstore. This was an advertising piece for RCA Victor. That's Nipper. I think that's what his name was, Nipper. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked about that. That's, that's really cool. I love that. So I am going to head back over to Eric's Nail and go see what he's got going on. And I will get back with you in a little bit. See you in a bit. All right. I keep having memory card error and I got to keep taking the memory card out. Look at this 1800s lunchbox. Tell me that's not amazing. Oh my God. What else we got here? We got those dioramas. Those things are amazing. Move this out of the way again. Mm -mm. I'm gonna put those down so we don't get them all messed up. Those are really cool. I don't know what's in this box in the bottom. It's gonna remain a mystery, I think, for a little bit. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that out one handed. The world may never know. Oh, let's see. This is made in Japan. Oh wow, look at those. Those are cool. Let's see if I can get one out. Oh wow. Those are amazing. Look at those cups. Oh, those are killer. I love them and they're in their original box. New old stock. Love it. Giggity, giggity. I'm excited. All right, I made it through that without the uh, camera dying. The camera keeps dying on me. It doesn't like my memory card. I like those Japanese cups. They're, they're not super old, but boy, are they colorful and nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're in an original and box. I know she loves Lennox, but that's a jeweled. Uh, you know, a little more desirable. yeah, and it's a seal too, so. Yeah, it's strange. She argued with me about the elephant a little bit, just uh -huh. slightly, but you know where the elephant wound up? He told me that with, what a great story. With with a lovely little ten year old for yeah. her birthday. Nine, she's nine or ten. Yeah. So and I, I threw in an extra little kitty cat for her. You said that's really I think it's it was a nice kitty cat. When it, when it finds a good home like that. Yeah, so I'm excited. Alright, well cool. Let's uh take a break for a moment and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, it is time to wrap it up and head on out of here. I've got two sick kids and a sick girlfriend I gotta go take care of, so um, I gotta get home. Unfortunately, I was supposed to go to New Jersey today. I gotta cancel that trip too, so. Yeah, laugh it up, yuck it up over there. Yuck it up. I made the boy come out and help me. Um, my car is not as full because we've got it all loaded in the pickup truck. Some great stuff here this week. Um, we got the mushrooms in there. We got some nice vintage canisters in there. Um, we've got some uh, West Point yearbooks from like the 1930s and 40s in there as well. Um, we've got some early pewter, some art glass, pottery, just just a ton of amazing stuff this week. Um, and I'm really looking forward to showing Joss everything we got. Hopefully, it makes her feel a little better. Um, so yeah, all right. Well, until next time, catch you on the next trip out. You guys got anything you want to say? You want to say bye? You want to say he's See still guys. single?
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later. Now this is cool. I'll film this on the way out. Check this out. They have trains here. And these are old rail cars, work cars they've got, but they've got the steam locomotive. Now that is a 060 because there are zero wheels on the front, six in the middle and zero on the back. That's the wheel configuration on that one. A um, couple old cabooses, which you don't see anymore because they don't use them. And then they do, uh, they do rides on the open air cars during the nice weather. So if you're ever over here and you bring the kids, take them for a train ride. It's a lot of fun. They do a steam locomotive, sometimes they do the diesel. But you'll enjoy it. Trust me, it's fun. See ya. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.